Hello again, today I'm attempting the Fusel puzzle again, where the rules change every row. So on the top row, one of my clues will be a lie. So either the A shouldn't be yellow, or one of the other clues should be yellow or green even. So my guess can be anything except a real word. Let's assume that we've got an E and an A, because those are the most common letters from that top row. So we will try, um, let's try paled. Oh, that is actually a word, isn't it? So let's try laped, because that's not a word. Right, so we do still have a grey E. So there definitely isn't an E. So that was true from row one. So we've probably got an S, a T or an R. In fact, we definitely do, because we know that the A is in the word. So we're not going to get any clues about what's the fourth or fifth letter here. So let's put the P in first. I'm going to put the A. Well, I don't even have to use an A, do I? Can I think of a word that has A fourth or fifth that starts with an with a P? Uh, not sure I can. We still want to try an R, an S or a T, I think, because we need to find out which one of those was correct from row one. So let's try spray, because then we'll know if the S or the P is yellow or green. And the R, so that the R was the liar on row one. We know that there's an A somewhere. So I'm thinking it could be apron. I'm going to go for that because it could be correct. I don't know. I'm sure there are other options. But we didn't need to think of them. Oh, that's ruined my pattern, hasn't it? Because I was getting better every time. I failed the first time and then I got it in 6, 5, 4 and 3 on my subsequent times by complete fluke. Whereas we're back to 4 today. But I think the previous three was a bit lucky, so I'm very happy with the four. <laughs> this is not the easiest of these wordle variants, so I'll take it. Let me know if you did better. Let me know if you did worse. That's the Fusel Puzzle. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.